today we're breaking down another skincare formula. We are breaking down what's called a micro sculpting serum. So it's meant to be an anti-aging serum and it's a brand that you find on the high street. It's only 34 pounds, which is great. And if you go into any super drug or any boots, guaranteed you will find this serum. So it says that it is plumping, uh, regenerates surface cells, delivers 10 anti-aging ingredients into the skin and improves elasticity. So all good things. When you look at the ingredients list, you see glycerin is quite high up. That's great. It's hydrating. Anti-aging serums should be hydrating. You lose moisture with age. And you also see niacinamide right next to it, which is vitamin B3. This is a well-known, scientifically studied and proven active ingredient. It should be around a concentration of four or five in formulas to avoid irritation and get maximum efficacy. We don't know the concentration of niacinamide here, but as long as it would be within that range, we're good to go. It'll even skin tone, regulate sebum, boost ceramide synthesis, and it can help regulate protein uh, synthesis and breakdown in the dermis. As you keep moving through, the ingredients list, there's a few fillers, but then you come across vitamin E. This is great. It's an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory and the skin naturally stores it. So it's great in a topical product. You also come across a well-known peptide that has good penetration into the skin. This is a problem with a lot of peptides. Penetration can be a problem. Um, and it also has scientific evidence that it can boost collagen production, which is great because this is what's going to boost skin elasticity and it's also going to help reduce wrinkles. And also after this cherub extract, which is known for antioxidant properties, as you move down the rest of the ingredients list until the bottom, the rest of the formula is fillers basically. So there's a little bit of Vaseline or, or some people know it as mineral oil. There's silicones, surfactants, there's mica, which is simmer, shimmer, sorry, and a bit of fragrance. So while this is not the worst formula that one can ever come across, it is a little bit disappointing because it claims to have 10 different anti-aging ingredients, but maximum you know, based on this ingredients list, you would see about four. So it's kind of false advertising there. It can improve elasticity, but again, this is with one ingredient out of the whole formula. And then in terms of regenerating surface skin cells, I mean, what does that really mean? Surface skin cells, is that the skin barrier? Is that keratinocytes? You don't really know. Things that tend to help regenerate surface cells tend to be AHAs, BHAs, of which are not in this formula. So the issues kind of come with the difference of what this product will actually do for someone and what it's claiming to do. So for that reason, it's an example of another product that wouldn't make the shelves at Dermot.